some people say that i echo vladimir putin <laughs> do i echo vladimir putin do i repeat the same talking points in the propaganda uh, that uh, the supposed propaganda that he says so let's take a look at uh, whether i am somebody who echoes vladimir vladimir putin let's see so this is uh, this is uh, an address that vladimir putin gave the signing of the treaties of on accession of donetsk and luhansk people's republics and zaporizhia and kherson regions to russia this is the annexation address the annexation speech given on september 30 2022 so some people say that i echo vladimir putin but if you look at this address you will find that he, vladimir putin has been has echoed me he has said things that i have been saying essentially forever and he has said things that no world leader speaks about for instance i have the old viewers i mean you know regular viewers of this channel will know that i have spoken multiple times on many occasions about the fact that japan germany and south korea are not independent or free nations they are under permanent us military occupation how many geopolitical analysts, analysts do you see speaking about this everybody portrays japan and germany and south korea as democratic free independent nations these nations are neither democratic nor free nor independent they are run as puppets by the us these are us vassal states the the us occupies these nations militarily the permanent military occupation even italy is part of that even italy is under the same situation so let's let's look at what <laughs> what did putin say so putin said the us left a deep scar in the memory of the people of Korea and Vietnam with their carpet bombings and use of nap- napalm and chemical weapons it additionally the us additionally continues to occupy japan the republic of korea and other countries which they cynically refer, refer to as equals and allies the whole world knows that the top officials in these countries are being spied upon and that 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 their offices and homes are bugged it's a disgrace a disgrace for those who do this and those who like slaves silently and meekly swallow this arrogant behavior no other world leader has said this i have been saying this essentially forever and now vladimir putin has said this so i am not echoing vladimir putin vladimir putin echoed me the other the, one of the terms that i use regularly is the term vassal state now this is not a fashionable term almost nobody uses this term it's it's a term that is considered to be kind of outdated it's a term that originates in the european feudal era you know vassals and all that and yet i use this <laughs> and now vladimir putin has used this no other world leader speaks about this yeah how many times has he used the word vassal in certain countries the uh, ruling elite voluntarily agree to do this they voluntarily agree to become vassals they brazenly divide the world into their vassals and all the rest vassals 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 so vladimir putin understands now so so i'm not claiming that he watches my program i'm what i'm explaining is that vladimir putin understands history and he understands that this supposedly obsolete and old fashioned term is still relevant today the world has not changed colonialism still exists imperialism still exists it has simply taken new shapes and forms and there people now use a new ter- kind of terminology terminology for these things but vassals still exist and vladimir putin recognizes this to genuinely understand geopolitics you have to understand world history you have to study world history deeply if you don't understand world history if you are not aware of world history if you have never studied it in depth you will never understand geopolitics vladimir putin clearly has studied world history right uh what else he speaks about colonialism which i speak about <laughs> uh, western elites are presenting their neo colonialistic plans with the same hypocrisy claiming peaceful intentions talking about deterrence and so on yeah current neo colonial model is ultimately doomed anti colonial movement and so on once again vladimir putin is saying what i have been saying for the longest time but it's the first time a major world leader has spoken about this right i have said so many times that we are currently living in the so called rules based world order which is nothing but a neo colonial system colonialism is very much alive under the garb of democracy and human rights and the slogans of freedom and democracy and all that nonsense 
it all started with the atlantic charter google atlantic charter and you will know the the origin of this hypocrisy yeah let's see what putin has to say about democracy <laughs> the west does not have any moral right to wane or even utter a word about freedom and democracy it does not and never did yeah western countries have been saying for centuries that they bring freedom and democracy to other nations nothing could be further from the truth instead of bringing freedom and democracy they suppressed and exploited and instead of giving freedom they enslaved and oppressed right the unipolar world is inherently anti democratic and unfree it is false and hypocritical through and through so once again vladimir putin echoed what i said i am not echoing putin he is echoing me i have also spoken hundreds of times about the west's colonization of india and africa and china the systematic institutionalized slave trade that the west created the horrific plunder and devastation of the entire world how the west enriched itself the europeans enriched themselves at the expense of everybody else i have spoken about the genocide of nearly 100 million native americans how many world leaders have spoken about this let's take a look at what vladimir putin says let's let's search for the term india it's worth reminding the west this is what putin says that it began its colonial policy back in the middle ages followed by the worldwide slave trade the genocide of indian tribes in america the plunder of india and africa the wars of england and france against china he missed the us but the us was also involved as a result of which it was forced to open its ports to the opium trade i have spoken about the opium wars haven't i right what the west did was that they got entire nations hooked on drugs and purposefully exterminated entire ethnic groups for the sake of grabbing land and resources hunting people like animals this is contrary to human nature truth freedom and justice so what i am saying is very, very simple i have not been echoing vladimir putin i have been saying this for a very long time but in this one speech this one address putin spoke about all the points that i have been historically speaking about so that's the thing <laughs> those those who claim that i echo vladimir putin could not be further from the truth in this address he echoed me it's the first time a world leader has spoken openly about these things so that is what happened 